So what is defence policy? What it is, it's our defensive identity. Someone has to ask you and your club, how do you guys defend? Your defensive policy is your answer. So we drift, or we blitz, or we're an up and up team. Essentially, once the ruck is set, so once a tackle's been made and we've got a breakdown, and we're going to... going to fold into position, it's what we do from that point onwards. That's, our, that's what our defensive policy is. What it isn't, it's not how we tackle. It's not technically whether we're going to go high or whether we're going to leg chop. Uh, it's not how we compete at the breakdown. And it's not how we fold into position. So that's not what we're going to cover tonight. We're going to looking specifically at what you do once you're in position. Once you fold it around the, around the ruck, transition zone's taken care of. How do we get off the line? That's essentially what we're looking to do. Okay, essentially the drift defence is an up and out defensive system. Uh, if that's a ruck, we've got an attacker here, attacker here, an attacker here. You're going to line up on the inside shoulder. Of your, of your attack and you're going to come up and you're going to go out and these guys are going to continue to go out you're responsible for the space outside you so as you come up your inside your inside defender is going to look after your inside and you're going to look after the inside of the next guy outside you you need to stay connected to your outside man so as you come forward you need to be aware of what your outside man's doing the guy inside you is going to look after your inside you're going to protect the guy outside's inside <coughs> don't get in front of your inside man so has anyone come across you want to be able to see the shirt number of the guy inside you and once the ball has passed you keep pushing pushing forward and up <coughs> anyone know why yeah block the attacker uh, the attacker from drifting and supporting the player on the inside yeah essentially you're trying to you're trying to protect against any balls back inside yeah, so keep pushing up and up and out. You'll have a fullback here co covering any uh, any eventualities that they get outside you. A misconception here with the drift defence is they think it's a passive defence. So if we if we drift, it means that we literally just drift along, let them pass, let them pass, and we'll end up tackling on the gain line. That actually, at the highest level of the game, isn't a drift defence. A drift defence is line speed. Get off the line, you're tackling them behind the gain line, and that's got to be your aim. Whatever whatever policy you incorporate. You've, your aim has got to be to tackle them behind the gain line, as long as you've got numbers. If your number's down, that's when you can start to concede, concede the gain line, sacrifice the gain line, and tackle them out wide. But you can still have line speed. If the drift attack is up and out, blitz is the opposite. It's up and in. So when you're going to align yourselves... Sorry, I know, I know this is basic for, for some people, but let's just all remind ourselves. Got the ruck, attacker, attacker. Attacker, we're going to align ourselves. If we've got a, a guard and bodyguard in, in place, we're going to align ourselves on the outside shoulder of the attacker because we're going to get off the line and we're going to come in. Up, off the line and in, off the line and in.